The spicy food doesn't necessarily kill me immediately. Oh shit. Well, I don't know why we didn't get water. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so I've never been to Nashville before. Everybody's like, really nice start to an iconic Nashville dish, Josh. Really nice. How about this? We'll go there, and then, then we'll make it. Sound good? Okay. Okay, what is that? Like a Doberman with some sort of like futuristic cyclops mask. I don't know. We're gonna, let's just eat hot chicken. How about that? So we decided to start this all off at one of the most iconic Nashville hot chicken places in the world. And then I realized that they were closed. So I'm very sorry. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for, no, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Next on the list is another icon, Hattie B's. We couldn't exactly film inside and we were getting a lot of weird looks. So we decided to go ahead and just grab our chicken and go. Yeah. <laughs> it smells great. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. This. Wow, that, that actually looks pretty ballin', I will say. There's one medium in here, there's one hot, and then there's one ultra hot. I'm, that's probably the ultra hot one. Does that, that seem right? Oh, we're gonna start here. That's actually really good. These are just tenders, right? This is medium, super juicy. Nashville just does ch chicken right. I'm, this is what I'm imagining the hot looks like. It looks really good. It's not that hot. Right, so, palate is cleansed. Now this, that's, that's hot. This is extra hot. You know what? I'll just go over the, the heat. I'm gonna start tongue down or? Yeah, that's pretty spicy. Mm. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh god, I really does get worse. This is not. This is the first stop. We haven't even gotten started yet. This was done for us now. <laughs> oh! There's a water pump. <laughs> what is this? What the f is this? No! <laughs> Well, that doesn't work, so we'll go back over here. I didn't think about it at all. No, it's all good, I'm it's all idiot. good. I did this for you, don't, don't let this flop. How do you use it? Honestly, really good. It's crispy, it's salty, but the spicy is actually not that bad. Now the extra hot, medium is like, okay, that's a little spicy. Spicy is like, oh, it's a little spicier. And then when you go to extra hot, it just goes, you. So just to get a better idea, I decided to visit two more places, you know, for science. The next one being Edley's Barbecue. I know what you're thinking. Barbecue, what, 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 what is that? This is Nashville. Every single restaurant is it's mandatory to serve hot chicken. Oh, wow. My body needs a break. And this is the break that I needed. It's like a loving hug from your mom. I think we need to try one more. And we'll be there. Despite the fact that the original Princess was closed in the beginning, we had to see if there was one of them that was open. But the reason why all these restaurants are so messed up right now is because of the tornado that went through Nashville. There are a lot of relief funds, and if you want to donate, they really need the help. There will be a link in the description, so if you'd like to help, you can go there. Cheers to you. And this is the hot version. So they put this on top of a slice of bread. This is where the flavor is. All the like salty, heavily spiced flavor is all condensed in this little soap piece of bread. Obviously, Insane. I think we're in a good spot to go back home, inevitably recreate the hot chicken. Okay, so thanks to Movie Magic, we're back in town. I always thought it was like glazed with some sort of like sweet whatever because it's shiny and like red. It's not. So stop assuming. The secret is a spicy oil. By the way, you can text me at 818-452-2640. It's new sort of content thing I'm trying out. But anyway, with all that said, let's do this, shall we? Shout out to all the commenters saying the recipe starts at four minutes, just so you know. Okay, so let's first address our chicken. As you can see, I'm firmly addressing mine. In all seriousness, we gotta keep this classic, okay? I don't wanna see any just plain old chicken breast. You can do four chicken leg quarters, or you can just do a whole chicken that's been cut into eight pieces. Of course, you can have your butcher do this. I personally like to do this myself because it's, you know, gotta keep it in practice, bruh. The point is, the chicken needs to have skin and ideally a bone. Now, the next thing is, instead of brining our chicken, we're actually just gonna give it a light cure. So season all of your chicken on both sides pretty generously 
lightly with salt. If you want to get real fancy, you can add a little bit of MSG, you know what I'm saying? Then just let that sit in the fridge for 24 hours. Of course you can skip that part, but it makes a big flavor difference. Now when you're ready to fry, fill a medium-sized heavy bottom pot with oil. You need enough to submerge the chicken, but not overflow and cause a grease fire. Please be careful. Then go ahead and preheat that brother to 325 Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. Now we're going to make our dip and dredge. So to make the buttermilk dip, you're going to need two large eggs, whisk together, then whisk in two cups or 475 milliliters of buttermilk, then whisk in two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of hot sauce. I use Louisiana. Two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of pickle juice, optionally, and an optional splash of cold smoke matsutake shoyu for fancy. Now for the flour dredge, all you need is three cups or 450 grams of all-purpose flour and three teaspoons or 10 grams of kosher salt. Give that some whiskey business, slap that boy around until everything's nice and incorporated. Okay, so we've got our dip and dredge, but we need to do one more thing. We gotta mix our spices for the, well, spicy oil. So you're gonna start with a quarter cup or 25 grams of cayenne powder. Yes, it's hot chicken, not mild chicken. It's a six and a half out of 10 on the spicy scale. Add that to a medium sized bowl along with one tablespoon or 11 grams of garlic powder, one tablespoon or eight grams of smoked paprika, or you can use regular paprika, two teaspoons or six grams of kosher salt, and two tablespoons or 25 grams of dark brown sugar. Give that a little whiskey doo dah. That was a weird, that's weird. Until thoroughly combined. Okay, breading good chicken is an art. To do this, first toss a piece of chicken in the flour, make sure to thoroughly coat it, shaking off the excess, then dunk it in your buttermilk mixture, thoroughly coat, make sure there's no floury patches, and then back into your flour flour mixture, pressing aggressively to get that coating all over the chicken. You won't get every little nook and cranny. And it should look something like this. Now, as you do it, it'll get flakier and flakier because you have little clumps in there, and that's great. Rinse and repeat with all pieces of chicken. Cool, that's it. Now you're ready to eat. I like it medium rare. Bon apple tea. That's a joke. That's a joke. Please, dear God, nobody actually do that. Once your chicken is breaded and your oil is at 325 Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius, you can go ahead and drop your chicken in in batches. Make sure not to overfill this. I did like two to three pieces of chicken at a time. And every time you fry, you're going to fry for 15 to 18 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And if it's browning too fast, just turn the temp down and touch. Anyway, once your chicken's done and nice and golden crispy, transfer it to a baking sheet with a wire rack attached to it so it can drain. And then just repeat with the rest of the chicken. Okay, we need to take another look at that chicken. Ah. Oh, yummy. Double cheeked up on the first day afternoon. Now once your chicken's done, take one cup or 240 milliliters of your hot fry oil and whisk that into your spices. It might bubble a little bit, that's totally okay. Once everything's nice and thoroughly mixed, immediately toss all of your chicken in the hot oil. The oil must be hot so the chicken stays quithby. Of course you can also brush this on, but come on, let's 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 be real here. Also, I should mention it's a good idea to have some good white bread on you. Even better if you've made it yourself and you can slice it any thickness you want. Then gently lay your chicken onto a piece of bread, add some pickles, and enjoy. You know, I gotta say, this I'm really excited about this. This looks really good. Pretty much the same, minus the fact that I added some smoked paprika. My mouth was watering because whenever I said that, I was like, smoked paprika. Iconic soap bread with that spicy boy oil. Oof. Mm. I don't even know what to say. Why did I do that? Yeah, it's in my head. Eating this is like going into a crispy dream state. This is pretty damn close. I mean, what do you want me to say? I think we freaking did it. That is the goodest. So we get it, the chicken's good. Let's try the bread. Here it is. Woo! Nashville, why would you go to sleep? Why do you like this? Anyway, Nashville, I hope I made you proud. Hugs and kisses. But do you wanna know what else gets hugs and kisses? B-roll. Guys, and that is it. So we made hot chicken. It's hot, but not too hot. I tried to keep the spice level rather medium high-ish, but it should be spicy. If you're gonna make hot chicken, make it as spicy as you can tolerate. It's called hot chicken, okay? Come on. Come on now, let's. I mean, it's like right over here, so it's hard for me to. Ignore. I gotta be honest with you guys, the merch store is live. You can purchase now, but I'm not gonna release it. I'm not gonna say anything about it because just to be completely honest, given the circumstances of everything, everybody's all stressed out about this stuff going on. I'm not gonna say what it is. You know what I'm talking about. And I just don't feel like asking people to pull out their wallets quite yet. You know, I just wanna wait a little bit, wait for things to kind of mellow out a little. I'm just trying to be respectful to everybody involved and 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 uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, if you guys feel differently about it and you want, and you're like, I want the merch right now. 
totally cool. Just comment, let me know. Communicated with you guys, uh, and not because I know that it's <laughs> it's always me being like, it's coming, it's coming, and now that it's finally here, now I'm like, I know release. With all that said, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Kiss you. Bye.